goddesses, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your WTF re reading for November. Um, I did give it a rest with Pisces for a little while because I wasn't getting um, any um, subscribers from it. People weren't liking the videos. Um, so I had to take a break from it because it was actually stopping my other videos from being shared. So I'm offering this out to you because I'm reading these um, on the full moon and the eclipse um, just before Samhain or Halloween, whatever it is that you describe it as. Um, so I just want you to give it a go with the three that I've dropped off to see if this will pick up the energy um, again for you so that you can kind of get some readings off the channel which I would be really pleased about because I do miss doing the readings for you guys um, so my lovelies let's get your energy card with the rose oracle thank you so Pisces you've got we are nature becoming grounded really <laughs> embodiment living in connection um this is really important for a piscean to be able to ground yourself when you think about when you put water and earth together and you're watering the earth you get growth so i'm kind of getting that not only do you need that connection between um, yourself, like your water sign and the earth itself, but also um, becoming grounded um, and being a bit more earthy is going to benefit you far beyond than your dreamy... Um, just, I was going to say dreamy, wishy-washy self. And I don't mean that derogatory. I just mean sort of like you chase your tail so much that to actually stand still for a couple of minutes and feel that magic coming up through the earth into your feet and up into your body and recharging your chakras would be so absolutely beneficial. And then you would start feeling all of those connections massively. Very nice. So let's get on with your reading for the beginning part of November. Can I have an, what started the what the fuck for Pisces, please? Thank you. Facing your fears and taking your power back. Manifestation and wish fulfillment. Thank you. Movement and journey for Pisces, please. Nice. What's out of Pisces? Hands. Reconnecting to your true self. And the outcome. Okay, my lovelies. So, what started your what the fuck? There's a load of messages coming in towards you. Um, very fast paced, very quickly coming in with the Eight of Wands. Um, now, these messages don't have to be verbal. They don't have to be text messages. It could be synchronicities that you're seeing of numbers or letters 
or it could be a street name or it could be a license plate and you're like whoa i didn't expect to see that or it may, may have made you laugh oh look at that license plate that sort of thing but there is a hidden message within there for you Seven of Thames, facing your fears and taking your power back. So on the Seven of Thames, all the Sevens for me are options, choices and blessings. And even the most awful situation can be a blessing in disguise that you may not recognise for a while. However, here you are walking away from something and you're looking over your shoulder at where you're walking from and you're like... I've learned lessons and I appreciate that. Now, what you're walking towards is this gruesome woman in the doorway. Now, I don't deal with male and female. I deal with energy, so it could be reversed. Now, she's got her arms folded. She's not very fucking welcoming, even though you've got all your rabbits there. Um, there's a bit of a skunk going on here, so there may be a stink just ahead of you. Um... And what I'm getting is if you are tempted to walk away from one situation where you've done so much learning and growing, do not walk towards this. Keep walking. Keep walking. Do not walk away from one situation to another situation that is going to be detrimental to your well-being. Just don't do it to yourself. So facing your fears is the walking away. You've learnt so much. Is it going to be the right time for you to do this move? Um, but I'm getting that the first option that comes to you, walk past it, appreciate and have gratitude for what you've learnt, but keep walking. That first, that first stop is not going to be your answer. It really isn't. So taking your power back is the keep walking. Keep searching, keep looking. And all the while keep looking and being grateful for what it is that you've learned. Five pentacles. Now normally I would be saying to you, sitting out in the cold, what the fuck for? Mm -mm. It's not what I'm saying. Completely different off the wall explanation for this card. There's a five pentacles above your head. You're sitting on that bench and you're like, what the fuck do I do with them? What do I do with them? When you get pentacles hanging in midair like that, they're waiting for an investment. Now, it could be investment in money. It could be investment in time. It could be an investment in your career. It could be an investment in your home life. However, I do get that this possibly could be an investment into yourself around your passion and desire and what they're asking you to do is go to that safe place where that fire is burning bright and it is showing you how to use your passion and desire how to invest in that and not stay stuck like that poor lizard on that tray do not get stuck he's in stasis because he's frozen to the tray now i don't know if you know about lizards but they are quite cold-blooded and when they freeze so long as you leave them alone, as they unfreeze, they start to breathe again. They start to come out of stasis. It's a very odd thing, really odd. But they're saying don't get stuck. Get off the seat. Go and find your passion and desire. And that's where you should be investing. And that is a really fucking odd manifestation and wish fulfillment but i'm getting that you're doing the usual piscean thing and that is going around in circles and it's sort of like i don't know if you saw the film um finding nemo where dory kept going around in circles where she was going oh hello that's shiny hello that's shiny and it's it's almost like you're doing that chasing your tail and going oh yeah i'd like to be oh but that's shiny Oh, that's shut and you, you're procrastinating. Um, but you're also going, well, what the fuck do I do with it? 
What do I do with this earth energy? How the fuck do I cope with it? How do I cope with being earth? What do I do with this earth magic? It's almost like it's thrown you into a bit of a loop. And do you know that's not unusual for a Piscean? You're always in a bloody loop. So yes, manifest your pentacles. It's fine. Manifest your passion and desire. That's fine too. But it's not fine being in stasis and just dreaming about something and then not putting it into action because it, it will say that it will just stay a dream so your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you have got the three of chalices now the three of chalices comes in because just up ahead for you there is a celebration going on with friends family and community and i just heard the word reunion so it could be a reunion of school friends university friends a previous job um, but there is there is a celebration going on around you which is going to be I'm getting that is it's gonna kind of open up those heart spaces for you it is a water card um, so raising those chalices that have got all your hopes dreams and wishes in is absolutely perfect and it will get those juices flowing again so do not shy away from any invites that are given to you to go out and about and have these celebrations. What can you do about this situation? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, huge, great, big fucking pentacle. Horse is just trotting. It's just sort of like, it's not even trotting. It's just walking. Walk on. And it's slow moving. It's painful. And you're like, oh, fuck, when are we going to get there? No, 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 no. Slow and steady pace wins the race every single time. It's lovely little swallow. I don't know if you know about swallows, but swallows, once they are born in the nest and they take flight, they don't come out of flight again until they are nesting their young or they're dropping out of the sky dead. I don't know how we don't see birds dead all over the place, to be honest, because they literally just drop out of the sky. But this swallow's always on the wing and they're saying to you, look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. This is an investment into your career, your money, your home life and getting that work-life balance absolutely right for you. But trust in those pentacles. Trust in that engaging in the earth, living in the connection because that is going to be vitally important for you. So what's out of your hands at the moment? You've got, for some of you, you're going to have a current conflict with somebody else. You both have the same idea of where you want to be, but you can't agree how you're going to get there. A lot of you, however, have got an inner conflict going on. Same sort of thing. You've got a plan, but... <laughs> You haven't got a plan. So you can see the outcome of what you want, but you can't see the steps in front of you to get you to where you want to go. And no pathway is wrong. No directions are wrong. And this is what this card is about. You have two guys here arguing about who's going to be able to cut this corn field or wheat field. I think it's wheat, isn't it? Wheat field. And the guy with the scythe saying, I can do it really quickly with this. And the guy with the knife saying, yeah, but I would have more precision. We would get more out of the ground by using the knives. And he's saying, don't be ridiculous. And the other guy's saying, well, why is that ridiculous? My pathway is every bit as valid as your pathway. Um, so try not to, if you are in conflict with somebody else, try not to... Um, get into an argument about it try to listen to their point of view and then ask them to listen to your point of view and work it out that way but when it's an inner conflict do not end up arguing with yourself in your head um it is an a it's an athami card it's an air card it's lost in thoughts it's not really putting anything into action and it's a lot of procrastinating is going on. But right in behind that, you've got the world tree. 
and the world tree comes in to tell us about the cycles night and day is a cycle the night gives away to the day the day gives way to the night it cycles in cycles out the same as the seasons the seasons cycle in and they cycle out and it's understanding the cycles of life um, and how a tree responds to that so just as we think the winter is coming and everything is dead in actual fact there is stirrings underneath the ground awaiting spring so don't ever think something comes to a close without something opening up because it doesn't and at the bottom of the tree you have got the asp or the serpent and they are saying to you shed old skin old skin can be itchy and horrible why wouldn't you want to emerge nice and shiny so just shed old skin let the old way of being go let it stay where it is and scratch that itch and get rid of the old dead skin slither out as this nice shiny new person that knows where the fuck they need to be the universe is trying to help you with this and that's where your messages are coming in because the universe is actually they're putting it right in front of you they're saying look look here it is this is the one this is what you need and you're going oh yeah nice number plate what oh yeah look at the name of that right you you just like You just haven't got any motivation, darling. You want it, but you just you just don't. You can't get out of that cycle chasing your own tail. And a two is relevant to you. I don't know if you've noticed, but when they've got Pisces, it's usually two fish. Um, and it's you chasing yourself. Whereas Gemini is the reflection of each other. It's you chasing yourself. You're chasing yourself around in so many circles. You're going to disappear up your own bum. So reconnecting to your true self is reconnecting to your passion and desire to get to this safe place. Look, your safe place in the five pentacles. But you're burdened. You've picked up loads of bollocks and bullshit from other people and you carry it you carry it and you're like oh it's so all of this is so heavy I, I don't know what to do put it down put it down if it doesn't belong to you put it down the burdens that belong to you are absolutely fine but the burdens that don't you can walk beside somebody you don't have to go through their life's experiences for them it's not beneficial for them to do this. Where there is a 10, there's a little squirrel here, collecting nuts is. And it's a red squirrel. What's that he's got in his hand? Ah, uh, I think that's rosemary for a remembrance. Remember who you are, Pisces. Remember that you want to be up in this protective zone. You want to feel that passion, that desire. You want that energy to push you on past the 10 and straight to the new beginning of an ace. And the new beginning is new projects and plans that need to be put in place, but you can't do it because you're burdened by other people's bullshit and bollocks. Two of Wands, your outcome. Finally, finally, you're going to put yourself first. You may be doing this with somebody else because there's two little froggies there. But finally, you're going to put yourself first. You are going to say out loud, I want to do this quest. I want to leave my comfort zone and I want to do this quest. And you are just going to get up one day and go and do it. And what's hidden from you? What's hidden from view is the Nine of Pentacles. This is a wish fulfillment. There is money to pay the bills. There's a roof over your head. Everybody's happy. Everybody's fed. Um, 
maybe not enough for lots of extras but certainly enough um, for some extras to keep you ticking over but as this goes through um, and it's feeling more comfortable for you to be earthed out you will start accumulating more wealth and abundance and your home life will get a get far more settled right so before we do the angels and ancestors part of the reading i was given this deck for my birthday it's a little angel deck it's all full of yes no's unlike these maybes um some advice cards all of that start thinking of a question that you may have that you would like to ask the angels the answer to so let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge wisdom and guidance for pisces for november please Oh, come on. They've got to be in there somewhere. Have some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for Pisces, please. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. One more shuffle. Okay, they're being bloody tight, weren't they? Water guard, you know, is that why you wanted it that fucking specific? Connect with your emotions, my darlings. It's so easy for you to do. And then you're a fire guardian. What was I saying about all these fire things, like letting go of things and finding that passion and desire? Ignite your passions. It's just hard. Those two cards have just told you what I've spent half hour telling you. Should have just pulled them in the first place. So your question... Trust. Reconsider. And at the bottom of the deck, if you believe. So trust in the process. Trust in the universe. Recon when it says reconsider, it doesn't mean change your mind. It's a reconsideration. So you may have already started this journey. But they're asking you to reconsider. And what they're saying is, if you believe manifestations, wish fulfillments, it will be so. Lovelies, wherever you are in the world, please be safe. And I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.